Telekinesis is a paranormal ability or phenomenon that consists in moving objects at a distance without any known physical means, presumably only using the mind. In history, there have been countless people who have claimed to have this amazing ability. But what happens when one of them is confronted and his abilities are put to the test? Today, we're going to take a look at the story of James Heydrich. James Heydrich was born on February 28, 1959. After spending a difficult childhood with an abusive father, he began to attend karate classes at the age of six in order to protect himself and his brothers from the constant beating from their father. Heydrich spent much of his childhood between foster homes and orphanages. This led him down a criminal life, where he even did time in prison. But in 1980, Heydrich gained fame after publicly claiming to have telekinetic abilities. According to Heydrich, his studies in martial arts led him to discover this incredible ability. He was able to move objects with his mind, demonstrating his powers using pages of books or pencils. Thousands of people began to follow the man's teachings, and was even invited to dozens of TV programs nationwide to demonstrate his incredible gift. While Heydrich was wowing people with his skills, there was a person who doubted his abilities, proclaiming that they were simple tricks and that he could easily replicate them. That person was James Randi, an ex-illusionist who had dedicated his life to unmasking these types of frauds. In one television program that Heydrich was invited, there was a surprise waiting for him. The producers contacted several scientists, including Mr. Randi. At the time, James Randi was offering a $10,000 reward to any person that could prove to have supernatural abilities. When the host of the program spoke to Mr. Randi, the ex-illusionist without hesitation said that he believed that Heydrich was simply blowing the papers or pencils. James Heydrich was prepared to demonstrate his abilities, but things got complicated when Randi spread pieces of light plastic around the book that Heydrich was going to use. The audience noticed that something was worrying Heydrich. He was obviously not comfortable with the situation, pacing back and forward, observing the book anxiously. Many minutes passed, and Heydrich remained perplexed and stumped. He then attempted to regain control of the situation by arguing that the pages of the book were being magnetized, that he could not move the pages because the plastic was creating static. You have heard what uh, James's explanation is. Do you have any comment to make on that? Bob, the, the comment very briefly is that I have gone through many hundreds of these tests with many hundreds of people who claim to have psychic powers. And quite frankly, it's more or less the same story every time. When a simple, direct, very uncomplicated protocol is used and the control is applied, the psychic forces don't seem to be present, if indeed they are ever present at all. I still look for some sort of evidence of psychic powers. To date, I have not found any. Up to this very moment, I am still totally unconvinced. At that moment, Randy had exposed Heydrich, proving that he did not possess any supernatural powers. However, this did not stop Heydrich. He continued his career as a telekinetic and still retained thousands of followers. That is until one day he was confronted by a journalist who was able to replicate Heydrich's abilities on camera. Heydrich finally had enough and confessed that everything was a lie. He admitted that it was all an act to show how credulous and dumb the American people were. My whole idea behind this in the first place was to see how dumb America was, how dumb the world is. James Randi's $10,000 reward is now up to more than a million dollars, but nobody has yet been able to claim it. Many people have tried to prove that they have supernatural powers, but all of them have failed. At least the scam artist in this story was unmasked. But how many more are out there in the world that have not yet been exposed, and probably never will? Tell me what you think about this story. Why is it that so many people are so easily deceived? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.